welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking you guys already know i'm coming at you straight from nairobi kenya today i am along outer ring road let me ask you a question what is the retirement age in your country well in kenya the retirement age is 60 years old but in spite of that we have an almost 90 year old grandmother who fixes cars how insane is that that is crazy she actually fixes cars at her age. So today I've come to pay her her visit. Maybe she can fix my car. I don't know. Come with me. Let's see. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go Guys, I just wanna before I go on, I wanna point out the service here. Her service is amazing. Um, she gave us drinks. <laughs> we got here and she asked us what we're gonna take, and she offered us drinks. You don't get this everywhere. Shush. Yes. Um, asante sana kwa kubali nifanya interview. Yes. Aya sani kwa nchi kuhuliza jina yako kamili ni gani? Kwa majina yangu ni naito Cecilia Wagali Kiminda na pia kwa jina la kazi ninaitwa Oshosh Sound System Engineer. Oh wow. Engineer Shosh Sound System. Eh. Yeah. Um and how old are you? Sijui miaka mimi. Mm. Lakini ninajua wakati nilizaliwa. Nilizaliwa nini? 38. 1938. Eh. Yeah. So calculate, she was born in 1938. How old does that make her? How old does that make her? Okay, um, Shosh, you've been working for how long? I've been working for 1991. Wow, from 1991? Yeah. I wasn't even born in 1991. Yeah. Hey, wow. Yeah. Um, but I was born in 1991. Yeah, I was born in 1991. Yeah, I was born in 1991. Simamia, oh, so then we go. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so what she's saying is initially she used to work with a matatu, she used to be a driver, the conductor, and then she moved to this. So just said, Cotton, I'm not sure I'm going to do a G. My name is a Babu Napata to a Changa Pharmacy at a to Jui. When you're to Neza for the other one is a good one. Nakini, either keep to in a return the mutual due, Nishida for him when you. Miaka kumi nilikuwa ninajua hata kufunga gari injini. Eh, hey, pia injini unajua? Mhm. Mm wow. Ni nilikuwa ninanunua gari kabla ya hizo. Oh wow. Mhm. Eh, hey, hiyo ni vizuri. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa ninajua hata kufunga. Oh wow. Eh. Hey. Kwa hivyo nini ilifanya uamue sasa? Sasa nikaona hiyo kazi ya transport. Eh. Hey. Hiyo inanisumbua sana. Eh. Hey. Because kazi ya kuuza hizi vitu ya ya ready. Ilikuwa inakusumbua aje. Kwa kazi sikuwa ngazi kazi ilikuwa ngumu. Ah. Juu vijana walikuwa hawajaelewa uh, mambo ya kazi. Mm -hmm. Na walikuwa hawajaelewa uh, kuendeza hii gari za isuzu. Okay. Walikuwa wanajua kuendeza Nissan ama gari zingine zilikuwa inaitwa Ford. Hiyo gari hiyo walikuwa wanajua kuendesa. Sasa venye uliacha matatu kanza hii biashara mm. mwanzo ilikuwa aje. Sasa nikaona sala hiyo inanisumbua sana. Na nikaona hii haina kusumbuka. Sisubwani na serikali, sisubwani na mtu wa kazi. Hii ni kazi inafanya kwa ni mtu na kupenda. Ikiwa mm. unataka kuandika mtu kazi unaandika mtu anajua kufanya. Hivi unaweza sema unapenda kazi yako? Ni hakuna kazi nyingine ninaweza kupenda. Oh wow. Ndio hii ni ndio haiwezi kunisumbua. Wow. Ukiweka sukuma hapa mwingine anaweka sukuma hapa. Ukiweka kitunguu hapa mwingine anaweka kitunguu hapa. Lakini hizi kazi unaweza kuchukua uanze. Guys, this is so impressive. You know what she just said? She says in this job there is no competition. If you decide to sell kales sukuma wiki, you open today someone else opens next to you and other people come. But with this job She's just doing her thing and she feels very comfortable. That's amazing. So Sasa, mm. um ni challenge gani? Ama ni ni kitu ni nini kigumu sana kwa hii kazi yako? Hakuna kitu ngumu kwa. Hakuna kitu ngumu. 
Mimi ninajifanyia na mkono wangu. Eh. Sio ni kitu ngumu. Wow. Ni wapi ungependa kuona kazi yako ikifika? Ai, siwezi kusema iko mwisho. Siwezi kusema iko mwisho juu. Watoto wangu wanasoma, wanafanya kazi. Na tena pia vijana wali wananiita shosho tena nao wanafanya kazi kama hii. Hakuna mtu anasoma anamaliza anapenda kitu kingine. Kila mtu ana, anaoa na anaweka kitasi kama hii. Kwa hivyo tunaipenda sisi mama yetu. Guys, so she has inspired her whole family. Most of the people in her, in her family have the same business. Mm -hmm. Na Ham 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 jaki kushikana nyinyi wote mfanye pamoja pahali pamoja. Haiwezekani. Wa mama wali mnaolewa mko kali sana. Ju unataka bwana wako akue na kitu yako. Eh? Haiwezi basi kuwa ya family. Lazima mtu hata akiwa anasaidiwa ajisimamishe kwa job yake. Yule mwingine ajisimamize. Ju kila mtu yuko na bibi na iko na watoto ana ana anasomesa. Okay. Kwa hivyo siwezi kumwambia tukuje tukae hapa sisi wote. Mm -hmm. Itakuwa watu hawezi kuheshimiana. Kazi unafungua kila siku. Kila siku. Kutoka saa ngapi mpaka saa ngapi? Eh, sadu sadu ninafunguanga kutoka saa 4. Saa ndi. Ikiwa ni kanisa ninaenda asubuhi sana bai saa 4 ni kwa nyumba ninakuja ninafungua saa kufungua ni paka saa ile ikiwa na kazi paka saa ile kazi mataisha tunaweza afikiza saa 5 saa 5 usiku eh paka oh. saa ile watu mtu atamalizwa dua uwezi kuambia mtu aende na jamaliziwa that's crazy she said she opens up um usually early morning except on sundays when she opens at 10 am and sometimes they even close at 11 p.m. Wow. And some of us, some of the youth are working from, you know, 8 to 5 and complaining. Do you get a whole grandma is working up to 11 p.m. Sasa, hi kazi na pesa, eh? Bora upate kitu ya kula. Bora upate kitu ya kula. Ukipata kitu ya kula, pesa ingine, haina haja. Makini, nakani kama hapa umuingiza pesa mingi sana. Ah, uh, kuna pesa mingi. Kwa kuingana vile Kenya iko na vizuri. Eh. Hakuna pesa mingi. Ile kitu poa ni upate pesa ya kula. Ya kujisaidia matumishi yako. Okay. Hiyo inatosha. Na watoto wako. Umetaja watoto. Hii kazi ndio ilisomeshwa watoto wako shule. Eh, walisoma. Oh wow. Na wakamaliza. Okay. Na ni wazee. Ah. So guys, uh, she just told me that this is the same job that she has been doing for so many years that has fed her family. Taken them to school, raised them, and now they are adults with their own businesses. Incredible, right? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Josh, uh, since unajua mengi, kuna watu unafunza? Ndio <laughs> Si kwa adika uh, timu mwisho wa mwezi. Hapana. Okay. Bia anaweza kufanya kazi mingi siku moja afanya gari tano, gari nne. Ukimwekea hiyo pesa utaweza kulipa. Tunalipanga mm. mtu siku hiyo hiyo hiyo. Yeah. Mm. Anakuwa ana deni. Kuna tofauti ya kutengeneza hizi magari ndogo na gari kubwa. Ama bado kama ni sound sound iko tu same kama ni engine engine iko same hapana sasa hii sifanyagi kazi ya makanika eh ninafanyaga kazi ya ngoma peke yake okay lakini kwa mambo ya kutengeneza mimi na fanya na system peke yake na kuna advice unaweza waambia aji watu wengine huko nje ama youth ama watu wa changa muhimu ni ni hii moja kama vijana watu wengi sana wanasoma na anamaliza shule na ukisikia mtu anasema hakuna kazi 
kazi iko kama wewe yuko usalama na yuko na akili hauwezi kusema hakuna kazi kicho mama hidi ni kazi ukipiga kiatu rangi ni kazi ukiuza gazeti ni kazi ukiuza mali rais uki, ukipita ni kazi na usiangalia ati wewe unasoma unafika university paka uone kazi ya ofisi hapana kazi ni kazi tena ninaombanga sana kusema mtu ajisifanye ati ye ni mama hawezi kuulizi familia yake hapana mimi ninaweza kulizi familia yangu na ninaweza kulizi ya wali wanakuja wananifanyia kazi na ninaweza kujifanyia au kujenga kama hii ninajijenga kwa hivyo si kusema ati lazima uwe na bwana dio ukude aa inataka uwe na akili yako ya kujua maisha yako ni gani eh badala hata wewe ukiwa mtu mdogo mchana hapana tafuta mzee dio akupeleke babu kunywe pombe akuchome nyama hapana uko na mkono na Mungu anakuumba na uko na akili mbona wewe usitafute kazi hata ukiambiwa usafisha nyumba uoshe ufanye kazi dogo dogo bona unakata unafuata mzee ndio akupendi akuda na unakosa kujio kuona ati maisha yako unaiharibu wakati utapenda kukaa mzuri we na boma yako utakuwa saa hiyo au utaweza ndio unaendea ile mtindo isiyofa kwa hivyo ikiwa ni kueleka unataka kueleka tafuta kijamu na mdogo dika yako muishi kwa tabu kiasi fulani na Mungu arudi amu amujengee amu boma yenu na muishi kwa furaha. Oh, wow guys that is great advice what she just said. Says if you want to get married look for a young man, suffer with him for a while and then eventually you'll be okay. Don't look for rich men who will be you no know, take you for lunch, buy you food, give you some money because when you want to settle it's going to come back to you, okay? And you won't be able to do that. How are you? Uh, guys here we have someone whose car has just been fixed by the grandma so is it your first time here it's your first time how did you know about this place i was directed by my friend here okay yeah. and how how did you find her service it's good it's good huh? yeah are you going to come back again yeah i'll come back because he is polite yeah you can ask her questions mm -hmm. yeah. would you tell other people to come here yeah thank you so much Shosh, sasa nikikwatia gari yangu hivi. Tunaweza nitengenezea? Weka ngoma. Eh, zinitakosa kuwekea namna gani? Ni mimi nataka pesa. Bora ni pesa. Sawa. Hakuna kazi sifanyi. Sawa. Hata mimi niko na yangu sinasimama hapa. Saidi ninataka kwenda shule zangu ninaenda. Haya. Na si ngoji matatu kwa barabara. Haya, unapanda tu ya. Mimi ninajiheshimu. Wewe Eh? eh na sio lazima nisimamishe gari ati ni, ni ndio niende mahali ninaenda mm -hmm. mimi napanda gari hivi unaweza drive tu bado unakumbuka sababu nisikumbuke hata road ninaweza kuendesha na lakini ah. saa hizi serikali inakataa oh wow nikifanya renew safari hii wali eh, niliwekewa nili eh, nili eh, license yangu kujibeba yeah. sasa wakakataa hiyo mambo yote ninavyo ninaseeka 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 guys is it new or is it crazy to have an almost 90 year old grandma driving cars do people over 80 year old drive cars you know you get most of them you know they have eye issues ear issues you know or maybe they're just tired they want to chill but I'm, I'm impressed i'm honestly impressed she's the oldest person i've seen driving a car let me know have you seen this before let's have a conversation below sasa hile wanasema ninazeeka ni za hile za hii ninasema ninataka simama huma nde ah. wanarobi mm -hmm. edi nione kama shida hii ya vijana mtamaliza mm -hmm. lakini shida hili ni moja mm -hmm. mimi ninataka hiyo kiti na lakini ninataka kiti hiyo kwa kuelezea mm -hmm. ati ninataka watu wadogo eh, unajua ninajua sana kuongea na kikuu eh, kuliko kiswahili eh. Ninataka mubadilike. Mm. Mm? Ikiwa ni mambo ya shukura tumalize. Ikiwa ni umaskini imalizike. Ikiwa eh, ni wachana waache kunywa pombe, wajielewe maisha yao. 
watu wa mtu ajisaidie kwa biashara ndogo ndogo naita mulizi naita mpeleka mzuri kuliko mambo ya kufikiria ati wewe kula ni wende ba wazee hawana watu wanafikia ajue shida yao na inatakika na wamama wali wazee walipigania hii mungu yetu wae wanalidwa mzuri wae wanaangaliwa mzuri na sasa hiyo wataangaliwa ni nani ni watoto yao na ikiwa mtoto yake isha adibika unaona hata angaliwa guys she's just saying she's buying for woman rep in Nairobi so let me know will you vote for her will you vote for her i think she should she should be voted for because she's a different kind of woman you know age doesn't matter for the last question um for those who say she's so old she needs to retire what do you have to say uzewa yake kando bwana kuona mimi ninazeeka aweke kando ile kitu inafaa ni kujua ile kitu inafaa na mimi niko na memory ya ile kitu inaweza kufaa ninaona watu wadogo wali makazi ya yuko inaweza kazi hiyo inaweza kupatikana sisi hii Kenya yetu iko na mashamba mingi sana na iko na fasi kubwa sana ikiwa ni my industry inaweza kujengwa wali wanasema hakuna kazi ikiwa anataka kozi hii tunaweka hii kosi ni, ni kazi fulani tutoe watu watoke chini kama wanaenda juu kila mtu aweze kusaidia ikiwa ni mama bora ajisaidie ikiwa ni kama mimi nitusaidie mwingine ajisaidie umasikini hisi haya watu wa Nairobi tumpigie kura wakati wa kura ikuja tumpatie kura hata waangalie zitaki hata miaka 5 wajaribu miaka mbili miaka mbili ikiwa iendelee bila nilikuwa ninazania wananiambia ni stop waweke wajaribu 